Greetings and welcome, sisters, to another episode of Let's Play Earth 2150. Alright, one campaign left. Uh, I don't recall if I finished this one. I might have done, but it's been so long ago. Uh, the uh, Eurasian Dynasty is the only one that I know for certain I finished because I remember being so excited to actually see the final uh, cutscene. But anyway, let's begin. The Lunar Corporation. Who are they? Well, they are essentially a colony of humanity that lives on the moon, which, fair enough. They are apparently organized in a corporation structure, and they are all, and they're, I'd say the dominant um, class in their society is women, for some reason. I don't know why exactly, because uh, it's been a long time since I've read the manual, and I frankly don't care to read it now. But uh, I think the gist of it is sort of that they left Earth for the moon to find some peace and quiet. And they found it, so much so that they ex uh, basically had no concept of combat for a good long while, which... Yeah, I kind of find iffy because women can stir up arguments just as well as men, in my opinion. But that's not for me to decide anyway. They lived in a peaceful society, more or less. And then the Earth got twisted out of its orbit. Now, the moon being tidally locked and in gravitational um, uh, stuck with the Earth. Not the right word, but I am kind of blanking on what it's called. Orbit? Well, essentially the moon is also doomed if the Earth dies, so they figure, oh, right, well, we have to build our own ship. Now, they do have, luckily, their own uh, planetary body in order where they can pick some resources from, but the moon is much more mineral poor than they'd hoped, and they can only finish half of the ship. But they have to go to Earth to get the rest of the resources, which brings them into conflict with the Eurasian Dynasty and the UCS. All's fair, I guess. Now, the game, the manual does say that um, the Lunar Corporation has no idea of combat, so their vehicles are probably not all that strong, and their troops are not all that experienced, which is yeah, not totally true. Uh, it's mostly just in the voice acting that's being done with the early units sounding very bubbly and kind of naive. As you go on later, they lower their, the pitch of the voice. But I'm, I don't know if they had different voice actors for that. I'm, I'm kind of imagining that they only had one that steadily lowered the pitch of their voice for whichever units uh, they had the voice. But anyway, let's have their let's have a look at that movie. Are you from the moon? Are you strong enough? Don't wait. Together, we'll wait. And immediately I'm thinking, what the world in the world was that? That's supposed to recruit me? Well, not me specifically, but anyone really? I mean, at least I understand the, the point of view from the Eurasian dynasty, where they just want to defend, defend, in quotes, their lands. And the UCS goes with the whole shtick of, we want to blow stuff up, isn't that fun? What is this? Are you from the moon? Are you strong enough? Well, I doubt it very much, depending on how long they've been there in 1.6 gravity, but anyway, let's just get going, shall we? And we'll start a new game. Right, from Leo, the Fang. 
Lusumbra Shatan, Lunar Corp, Defense Manager, Subject, Proposal for Peace and Cooperation. I come in peace. The UCS President sent me on this mission to bring you a peace offering. The Eurasian Dynasty under Vladimir II is waging all-out war against our two nations. His goal is obvious. He wants to make sure we perish with the planet. If we ally, our chances of foiling his plans increase dramatically. As a veteran of the Great War of 40, I can be of immense service to you. My skills as an organizer and commander are unsurpassed, plus I am currently in possession of an alien vehicle and do not shy away from personally fighting the ED on the battlefield. To the contrary, I revel in the thought. Our president has given permission for your scientists to examine my anti-gravity vehicle. End by Sombra Shatan. Alright, then we get the reply. Hemmed by Sombra Shaitan, the Lunar Corp Defense Manager, destined for Leo in the Fang. Topic of discussion, ratification of our pact. Hello, Soul Partner Leo. Let me welcome you in the name of Sister Chairman Vika Korolan. Our Celestial Council has approved the proposal for your esteemed president. I have been chosen to serve as your liaison since our karmic resonance is clear for all to see. This should yield a harmonious and prosperous partnership. I want to. And I ask you to please show some patience. The language and mentality of the warrior are foreign to me, so it may take some time to get accustomed to your speech. Health and happiness. Right, there's... Alright, so... I get they want to reinforce the notion that the Lunar Corporation are new to this whole fighting malarque. But really, the first idea in creating this campaign was just to send a man to help them fight. Yeah, granted, it's me in the in that in the Fang, supposedly. But still, also Lunar Corporation, your defense manager is someone who has no experience in fighting at all. At all, really? Why? Ooh. All right, <clears throat> enough of that. Let us get underway. All right, so the Fang has 600 health, 75 armor, does a fair amount of damage, 20 ammo, which is kind of low, but mm, and a range of seven, so decent range. This will be my primary combat uh, unit, uh, pretty much in all missions going forward. All right. And by Alia Tolian, I mentor of the Lunar Corp, destined for you in the Fang. Proper discussion, the Catharsis Project. Greetings to our honorable war hero. The LC has taken all possible steps to evacuate as many of our sisters and their sons <laughs> as possible. Yeah, at least they acknowledge there are actually men on the moon, in whatever capacity they are at that for, as possible before Gaia's impending destruction. As you can no doubt imagine, we are very low on the, res on the resources needed for our starship construction. Your top priority is to get us the raw materials we need. The Celestial Council has given its approval for all, all exploitation measures to be taken, even ecologically unfriendly ones. Gaia will soon melt. We must help put her out of her misery, for the sake of our new home. If, if possible, you should try to avoid being drawn into a fight. But think me not so naive to believe we can avoid armed conflict altogether. I drink a toast to our partnership. May it bloom in health and happiness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. That. And as you can see, we only need 500,000 credits. So, there's already a frame in orbit. And we have our base over here. Do we have any research I can already do? Yes, I can improve the lunar, but I don't have the resources for that right now. I will have it later. Alright, let's use a mission. Alright, so we can go to Urals. We are now in the Ural region. Clip into the enemy territory and pull out as much raw material as you possibly can. You might come up against the ED, so be careful. Or the Acme Laboratory, just to show how much of a joke this all is. 
Uh, we will do this one later, but for now, we'll take on the Ural mission. Because why not? Our astronomers have come to the frightening conclusion that the wars raging down on Earth have made her orbit unstable. In just a few years, Gaia will die in agony. The Celestial Council has spoken. Build an evacuation ship to get our colony to safety on the planet Mars. We will bring the needed material into orbit, and there we will start building our ship. Cool. Mission briefing, please. Sent by Alia Tolian, my mentor of the Lunar Corp. Hello, Leo. A lovely Luna simply does not have enough resources, enough in the way of mineral resources. Our satellite photos have revealed wondrous ore deposits on Gaia. There's just one small catch, They're right in the middle of ED territory. I know that I'm asking a lot of you. I hate to think of what might happen to your soul once we sent you into the lion's den. But our scientists have just flipped out over this region. What we could do with all those minerals. Please try to avoid any trouble with the ED troops. They are evil souls without a shred of human decency. May God us be with you. Yes. This speech is making my skin crawl a little bit. If I'm totally honest. Right. Let's just get our troops over there. I kind of like that there's just a tractor beam of sorts. Pulls things up. It makes things simpler than loading ships. Alright, let's also let's see. The research, we can upgrade bullets. And we can upgrade the lunar itself. And let's upgrade the lunar itself. The bullets will be useful, but that can come wait. That can wait. Now it looks like there's already been some fighting or remnants of some sort of civilization. And let's also do some production. Uh, I'll just create a few small things. A rocket launcher. I can also make a Phobos with a detector, which I guess I'll do. Mercury is our supply craft, which doesn't get anything else. Uh, and for now, I guess I'll make a move with a chain gun as well. Yeah, the... Uh, the transporter has arrived. Let's bring everything out. The Lunars are a little bit underwhelming. They are unarmored, they have barely any hit points. They're basically just scout craft. But they are also cheap, and I have them, so What's I may as well use them. Now, I don't know exactly where it needs to be. This. I don't think the message told me. Just find deposits uh, just in this region somewhere. Forward. Forward. I think On probably to the south here then. How much resources are left in the base? Uh, plenty. We should be able to finish our research. Now, ED vehicles will not be upgradable. What's your order? So, I'm out. much rather just have the chassis before I build anything new. Destination accepted. Forward. D 
Destination accepted. Where is that field? It really is so big. Destination Could have done with a the direction there. Destination accepted. Not that I'm too worried that the uh, ED will take it, but... I don't want to get things underway because the Ural, of course, is just an introduction mission to the entire faction. Let's go. And I kind of want to show off some of the building. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. And potentially get into a scrap with some enemy forces. Which I think we cannot avoid. Also, uh, let's just double check. Music was being a bit loud, I think. A lot of my stuff has not uh, transferred over. Put shadows on the terrain. Uh, sound, well, a video is double sized with subtitles, please. Too worried about any enemy forces I will encounter here. The Fang can handle pretty much anything the ED has at this stage. But. A scouts have reported sighting enemy troop movements are right in your territory. We're not ready yet. This means you'll have to equip the base with defense fortifications as quickly as possible. Watch yourself. We're depending so much on your success. enemy knows what the most dangerous target is here. Destination oh, accepted. we are not quite done. I'm moving out. We're opening fire now. Need help right away. I'm on my way. Right, that's a uh, fine baptism by fire. Let's just ignore that for now. I hope I don't have to deal with that, but I think I might have to. Just trying to remember what this map looks like. If I recall correctly, the LC base was somewhere up in the mountains here, so possibly the field I'm looking for is up here as well. Plus it will give some time for my units to... Uh, Get their stuff together. There we are. Great, you found the mineral region. Now build a mine complex and send me twenty thousand credits. Okay, let's get to it. Let's yeah. build. So first off, that's um, build a all mining facility. Build a power plant, build a battery, and put down a main base. We are very low on power. Yeah, yeah I'm working on it.
Right. That will do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. And if you like my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe.